it hadn't been for Dale Belsey recognizing Bruce's talent and also Dale Belsey knowing that promotion was really a big deal with surfing movies, I don't know if Bruce would ever made a, a full 90 minute movie because he was making eight millimeter movies and showing them at the surf shop and maybe making a little change here and there to buy beers and stuff like that. But Dale Belsey, uh, one of the classic surfboard makers at that time, recognized Bruce's talent and he asked Bruce if he would do a movie and Dale said, I will pay for all your equipment, film and the Senate guys to Hawaii that you choose and I just need to have my name on the title. Dale Belzee presents whatever movie you want to call it. Well, Bruce was ecstatic, but he didn't know how to make a movie either. It was sort of like he, all he did, did was put eight millimeter movies together to show to his friends at the surfboard shop. So Bruce essentially did the same thing I did. At that time, he went to the library and got a book on how to make movies. And that's a, that's a true story. And on his flight over to, I don't think he ever returned the book either. Uh, there might be a fine there. It, it, <laughs> anyway, when on his way to Hawaii, he was reading about how to shoot movies. And <laughs> that's, you know, six, this is a professional movie. Now backtrack a little bit. When Dale offered to, to finance this movie and say, hey Bruce, will you do this? Bruce said, sure. But he didn't know even what equipment to buy, what stuff he needed. But he did know a person who did know, and that was Robert Bagley, Bob Bagley, who was his high school chum, who worked at Belmont Shore at a camera store and was really into film. And Bruce took Belzey to Bob Bagley's store where he was working, and Bagley picked out all the stuff, the telephoto lenses, the, there was no waterproof housings or anything like that, the telephoto lenses, the film he needed, the, the cameras, the Bolex, 16 millimeter Bolex is in the Kodak thing. All the movies, all the film equipment that Bruce needed, Bagley guided Bruce into buying it. And Dale Belsey, Dale Belsey was in the camera store with a wad of cash, because that's how he did things. And he paid all this right then on the counter for all the equipment. And it was quite a big sum of money and bought all this equipment. And that was Bruce's start into making films. And that the, the greatest part about that is that it, an opportunity like that, we all have opportunities in life. And Bruce, that was the open door to him starting onto his career making surf movies. And the ultimate one, um, of course, in surfing was The Endless Summer. Nobody realizes how difficult filming a movie is at the time. It's not like video today. You have these rolls of film, 100 foot rolls of films that he's in Africa, West Africa, South Africa filming, not knowing if even the footage he's filming is going to be okay. And you have a lot of things to deal with, a lot of uh, humidity and actions, stuff that can really impede having a good movie. Uh, whereas if you shoot it in like today, you can shoot a video, oh, let's do it again. That wasn't the case. There was no retakes. <clears throat> and then he'd send the footage back to our lab in Hollywood. And then we would take a look at the, the rushes or the, and tell him in a letter, because phone calls were almost impossible and they were really expensive. So everything was in communication via a letter. So it wasn't like happening instantly. He'd get back and say, how's that footage show up? And how'd it look? And oh, it looks good, you know, great. But there was no retakes. If you see the movie, you realize that Hey, when they went to West Africa, Senegal, Ghana, and Nigeria, that was it. They weren't going to go, go back to shoot anything. And when they got to South Africa, that was it. I mean, the film came back and on they went to New Zealand, and Tahiti, and then to Hawaii. And that's how we shot movies. That's how movies were shot at the time. And it was really a shot in the dark, if you will, uh, not knowing if your footage was going to be okay. And it showed the talent that Bruce had and doing things right, because most of his footage, I mean, he saw, shot over 50,000 feet of film. Just imagine that, you know, and, and, and then out of that, editing it down to just 90 minutes was quite a task. 